Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Champions League jersey review. Yes, you have chosen the next jersey review that I should do is the Champions League jersey review. And I think I have not done one last season due to time constraints and this time it's also a little bit delayed thanks to the World Cup and then a little bit of a sickness of mine and we have it delayed. However, I usually have done it in eight parts, you know, one for each group, but I have decided, you know, I do a lot of double duty there and most of the teams in the Champions League, I've already talked about their jerseys. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to do it also within four videos and I group two groups always together, A, B, C, D, uh, E, F and G, H. And then I will just not really skip. I will show you the jerseys of the teams that I've already, or the jerseys that I've already talked about. But I will just mention the grade and refer you to the original video for the league-specific review because I've already done uh, reviews for six whole leagues. But then I will talk about all the other jerseys that have that we have not seen yet or that have been dedicated European jerseys for that particular team. If it's a team that we have not been talking about because they're not one of the six leagues we have done uh, reviews, which uh, is, of course, uh, England, uh, Spain, Germany, Italy, France and Austria, then we look at the entire set that has been released and I point out some differences for Europe as well. But other than that, I'm just going to go group by group and basically team by team uh, in an alphabetical order as well. And so, in this particular video, we are looking at Ajax, the team that I'm wearing. We have Liverpool, we have Napoli, we have Rangers, we have Porto, we have Atleti, we have Leverkusen and we have Club Rouge, the surprise package from uh, those four gr uh, two groups in there. And we'll start in Group A at the Dutch Champions Ajax, uh, which we have not talked about yet. And Ajax have received, after last season's really nice retro jer uh, uh, jersey, this is now a little bit more of a modern take, but again, Adidas is not going to mess with the classic Ajax style. We have again the broad red center stripe. It's actually broader than, than it was in the 90s uh, and also in the previous shirt. So we are back at that. Um, we have the three red stripes and then there's a, um, the collar, the v-neck actually looks nice. There's a uh, red and white, but there's also a little bit of gold in there, uh, which we see also around the crest. The crest, especially in the sense that uh, most Ajax crests uh, on the home jerseys have been white on red, but here it's now a white roundel uh, with a red Ajax. It's not full color Ajax crest, because for that I think the Ajax uh, logo itself I think is uh, black, but it is a slightly different take on it, which I find is quite nice. I also find that the golden outline around the stars is really good. You really cannot mess up an Ajax jersey and I also like the sleeve cuffs a lot uh, a lot maybe the one thing the really the one thing is uh, the shoulder straps yes it's Adidas blah 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 but it looks a little bit off but other than that uh, you cannot mess an Ajax jer jersey it's as classic as a look as it can be I give it nine stars now in the league they're wearing an away jersey that is in dark blue and is getting of course rave reviews as most of the away jerseys for Ajax have been getting as of late and I gotta say this one looks overall quite nice the color scheme is rather pleasing especially paired with the red pants that this is worn uh, and there's an interesting pattern on the collar and the sleeves because which kind of this is the um, thing that elevates this jersey above the rest yes the um, navy blue with the golden accent a little bit red is already a very classy touch. To me it's not quite there with the, I think it was the 21, uh, 20, uh, 21 away jersey, the light blue one uh, the, with, with the crazy pattern. It's not quite there, it's also not quite there with the Bob Marley jersey, but it is a really nice jersey I gotta say. Uh, it just does not hit the, high, the the 10, it just doesn't scrape because for that it's a little bit too ordinary. But still, it's another very nice Ajax jersey. We're going again with a 9 star. However, in Europe they have been using the third jersey, uh, which is a collaboration with Daily Paper. I think a Dutch fashion brand in a way. 
And what I like what they're doing in the sense that this is basically, it is a little bit of an Ajax kit with a little bit of PSG thrown in there. Also a little bit of the city flag in there because, you know, red with the black center, uh, that's actually the city flag of Amsterdam, make th three X's in there. That would actually be nice. I actually think they should do a third jersey that is kind of the city flag, basically red on the side and black in the middle. That would be a really cool idea. And then they have on this um, sandy color, they have pictures from all around Amsterdam, uh, but basically uh, places where um, kids play football in the city. Now, I think it is a decent uh, enough uh, jersey that uh, provides a lot of contrast. It's not maybe like, it's not as great as the other one. But it's a nice one overall. There are a few things in Europe. There's, of course, the daily paper um, uh, lettering below the crest uh, goes away. And then there's also a different font. And then on the back, the daily paper logo goes away. Um, but then on the other side, I find it also a little bit lacking uh, when compared to the other ones, where the one is a very classic one. The other one has a very pleasing color scheme. This one just falls a little bit short, still looks very much Ajax still a really good jersey i still give it eight stars and we move on to liverpool which we already saw in the premier league jersey review i gave the home jersey a five star the away jersey the crazy one i gave a four star and the best one was the third jersey um the dark green one which i gave seven stars and if you want to see a little bit of reasoning watch the premier league jersey review linked above Going over to Napoli, I mean, we also have seen uh, the home jersey already, but here it is the home jersey in the European configuration, which is the same as the League Cup configuration, it's just one simple sponsor, makes it actually look better. There's not the MSC sponsor. I think this looks a little bit better. It's still a gorgeous jer uh, jersey and I'll stick with the same grade of nine stars, but it is technically a slightly different jersey. Uh, the away jersey is definitely a different jersey and gotta say, if they would have taken the home jersey with the light blue sleeves, I actually would have liked that much better than going gray here. And yes, I know they have something special, but uh, the gray, pff, don't like it. I really don't like that one all the, all the much. It's a nice idea, but it's rather a blah jersey. And you know, the Napoli logo and the later logo just stick out. You know, those probably have to also be gray to do them. Yeah. Four stars here. I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not outstanding. And I gotta say that the third jersey, uh, they played with that one at Ajax, where they won big. I think even at Liverpool. And I didn't really like it because of the charcoal gray color. I mean, it. I understand what they're doing. They take the blue sleeves and then make it darker. But it also, it, it something quite doesn't work with me. I would have liked that this is more like a black that could work uh, nice and then have a really a luminous color there. But it's also not a straight reversal from the home jersey where, you know, uh, it, it could be navy blue and then a light blue. That actually, actually would look much nicer and also would probably connect a little bit better to the crest. So I, looking at it here, it doesn't look bad and it's definitely not the worst Napoli jersey uh, this season, but it also is, it's not my favorite either. So I'm going to go with five. The home jersey though was a really, really nice one. Outstanding uh, jersey. Let's go to Rangers where we have quite a few, a little bit of ground to cover. Here is the home jersey, but this is the league configuration. Uh, of course, by Castore. Uh, I really like the checkerboard pattern and I actually think that, uh, you know, the little bit of red around the cuffs and the collar looks also nice. In the Champions League, this was worn with a Unibet sponsor. So basically almost the same thing, uh, just look a little bit differently. will work off now the Champions League, but, you know, uh, the sponsor for me doesn't make a really a difference here. Uh, I gotta say this is probably one of the nice uh, Castore shirts. I wonder where are the five stars up top um, because I'm so used to it. But you know, I, the RFC also looks quite nice by itself. Overall, decent jersey. Maybe not super exciting, but I actually think this little touch of red actually puts it uh, over the top and I'm actually willing to give this eight stars. Um, the away jersey, I think is a very interesting uh, look with the diagonal 
way with red and uh and white below and then with the blue added in uh, i really like this one uh and again we have unibet in champions league play but i uh, the better pick we pick just the one with um uh for the scottish league Gotta say, there is something about it, and it actually looks quite Rangers to me as well. Uh, I do enjoy this jersey quite some. I'm also gonna give this an 8 star. Then uh, we have the third jersey, of course. I think this will please probably Rangers fans the most with the orange. It just looks a little bit odd to me uh, with the shoulders and then the white on the front. This looks a little bit disjointed. It looks uh, almost like an American sports jersey in a way. A very modern take. Um, yeah, I'm more inclined to say here next. It's not my uh, favorite. And then they have also released a fourth jersey here without sponsors. That actually has a lot of class, a uh, very classic color, the black and then the pinstripes in the club's colors. Maybe the blue is a tad too light, but then you, it needs to kind of be, especially for the two logos, the, I find the blue a little bit too light. On the other side, I think it needs to be just for the sake of um, that it, uh, differentiates, it differentiates itself from the black background. Really, really nice class shirt. I'm also gonna give this eight, and I think Rangers look uh, darn fine uh, this season, at least from the jerseys that they're wearing on the pitch. Unfortunately, it was a little bit of a different story, but you know, having reached the European final not too long ago is also a big achievement. Moving over to Group B, and we look at Atletico Madrid. We already looked at these jerseys in the La Liga jersey review linked above. The home jersey, ugly, two stars. The away jersey, yeah, five stars, nothing special. And then I hate this one because of the template, because of the non-athletic color scheme. Nothing right here. It's a one star shirt to me. And we can go go uh, over to Club Bruges. Yes, uh, we're starting with the surprise package here. The home jersey, um, I gotta say, maybe the blue is a tad too light, but other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. I actually like that there's a little bit more blue than black uh, there. Uh, same sponsor as we had for Rangers. Um, the, I have to say the Club Rouge crest, uh, it didn't really occur to me until lower, lower look at his history. I actually liked it with the kind of darker um, surrounding a little bit more. They had kind of this orangey. Uh, around the black and blue stripes in the, in the intercrest. I think the white, it looks a little bit off, but on the other side, it fits quite nicely within this jersey. It's Macron doing nice things. I love the color. I love that the color is reflected on the, on the sleeve scarves and, you know, a uh, striped jersey looks all fine to me. And I think it's a, another winner. <laughs> I'm gonna give this again eight stars. Um, the away jersey is an interesting take. It's white and you get the Clubs colors in there with all this kind of uh, squiggly lines in there. Well, it's not even squiggly, they're straight lines, but in all kinds of angles. Um, I'm of two minds. On the one side, it's interesting because it would be just, just as boring to issue another white shirt and maybe, but um, it's also, it's a little bit too wild. But I guess there's a certain playfulness to it. I actually like how the color that there is the blue V and then the black around you. The sleeve cuffs are really nicely done. So I'm leaning more good than bad. So let's give this a six star uh, rating. And the uh, third jersey and also used for goalkeepers. Uh, yeah, black with blue, light blue. Interesting, but nothing special. Honestly, it's almost a little bit a lack of effort there. The crest looks actually better with the darker surroundings, don't you think? But you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a matter of taste. Um, not exactly my taste, this one. I find it rather lazy and for that reason, I'm gonna give this one four stars. We go to Leverkusen, which we also another Castori team. We have seven for the home jersey, which is nice. The away jersey is a little bit off with five. And then the third jersey is also quite a nice one, but also could be a, do a little bit more. I gave that one six. And we'll end it with FC Porto, a new balance team. Uh, and was the class of this group. <laughs> Classic Porto. The only thing that I don't like on this one is that I think that the sleeves should also be striped. 
that white. Uh, it just looks a little bit too, uh, the, the sleeves add a little bit too much blue and then the thick cuffs in dark, dark blue is a little bit too much, but there's a nice gradient in there. The Betano sponsor fits actually quite nicely overall, although I think Porto usually has a red num number, so there might be a little bit of a dis disconnect. But overall, uh, nothing really wrong, but it's also not the most exciting jersey, and unfortunately, New New Balance never, the model that they put the jerseys on, never really quite looks as nice as for others. Um, I'm actually inclined to give this six because, you know, it's your average Porto jersey and uh, especially the sleeves could have looked a teeny bit better. The away jersey uh, plays further on the yellow theme. We have an interesting pattern in there, but overall, yeah, while I get it is a contrast, uh, that's fine. I have liked previous Porto away jerseys a whole lot better. The best thing about this one is the color, um, the sleeve curves, the, the color doesn't really fit. I think I would have done this in the darker yellow that is used for these palm leaves that come in. I find a little bit lacking in a way. Um, I want to go as low as three here, honestly. Uh, it doesn't scream Porto to me. However, it's the away jersey, uh, the third jersey. That looks actually quite Porto. It's just blue with white, but it's Porto. And uh, yes, it's very template-y uh, in a way, but you know, you have everything there. This is a por uh, proper Porto um, third jersey or away jersey, alternate jer uh, jersey. It might not provide the best contrast because the home jersey is also very blue thanks to the blue sleeves, but I honestly can get them boring. But on the other side, it's also a bit more on the lazy side, but because I like the colors and so on. I would give this a five. And we are done with groups A and group B. Please let me know which jerseys in here you did like. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.